it's finally here. Today is Golden Globes Day, and I'm so ready for it. I am filming this before my my whole entire reaction to it after and seeing what I would like to win or wouldn't I wouldn't like to win. I really, 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 really want Bela Davis to win Best Actress. I really want her to win Best Actress really bad. And not just because she's bike, it's because she deserves it. She does such a good job in How to Get a Murder. I really, 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 really hope she wins this. I really do. And that's about it. This is, that's my only prediction going in. I didn't really, well... I, need to, I don't really know the nominations. I'm kind of going in here blind. I usually do know the nominations. And I'll probably, when I see it, I'll know most of the shows. But I will give you guys a review after. But this will be my little thing before. Hopefully, everything goes well. Hopefully, my stripper shows win. I'm more of a show buff. I hope Lady Gaga does not win. Low key. Very, very low key. Um, but other than that, I really just. Oh, I'm so scared, guys. <laughs> okay. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, we're back from the Golden Globes. And I figured out that. I need to watch more movies because I know absolutely nothing. Things I'm happy about with this Golden Globes. I'm happy that Leonardo DiCaprio won. I am glad that Jennifer Lawrence won. I'm glad that Taraji P. Henson won. And I'm glad that... Oh, no. Everything else I didn't know. I felt like I watched, I watched a lot of TV and movies. I cannot believe I barely knew any of those movies. It was really weird this year. I feel like these movies weren't box office hits or very well known. I don't know, maybe it was just me. I felt like last year I knew almost every movie that was nominated and I've seen every movie that was almost nominated, but this year I haven't seen almost nothing. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Also, American Crime should have won Best Picture. Viola Davis and Taraji Panson were very close. I wouldn't matter if either of them win, but I really kind of wish Viola won over Taraji a tiny, tiny bit. Not too much, not too much though. But we're also going to talk about Ricky Dravas, uh, who... I think that's his name, however you pronounce it. He made a lot of offensive jokes about the transgender community because I was on Twitter thinking about tweeting about it with the Golden Globes and I saw, oh, Ricky Draper is making all these transphobic jokes and blah, 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 blah. And then I realized, well, how bad were the jokes? So I looked it back up and I saw that he was saying that um, he went through a lot of changes this year, but not as much as Caitlyn Jenner, blah, 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 blah. Then everyone laughed in the crowd and people were like, why are the actors laughing? Well, the actors are laughing because they don't know when they're ever going to get another role from him. That's why you laugh. It's called the Hollywood game because you guys don't know. If you don't laugh, that person that could see you not laugh, you could get blocked by it. Maybe it's not that simple, but mm, yeah, I hope you get what I mean. Um, I think that Ricky J. Ross, some of his jokes were in bad taste, but he is like a comedian that like goes on people. Like he burns people. He roasts people, which is like, okay, so if everyone knew that, why are people getting offended? I think something about this world is making people more offended by every little thing you could say now. And even though things that used to be funny aren't funny anymore because everyone's so offended by everything. It's really weird. I don't know why. Even when I was younger, people weren't offended by so much stuff. I don't know. The world's coming to a different place, at least. So, guys, what do you guys think about Ricky Dravas? 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 Whatever. Ricky Dravas and Dravas offensive jokes. Did you think they were too crude? Did you think they weren't too crude? I, in my opinion, I didn't think they were that crude. Um, some of his jokes about women were a little bit almost over the top, but I think that he was pretty funny overall. I don't know. What about you guys? Put in your comments below. Let me know. And I hope you guys, I see you guys next, 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 next. Oh, this Wednesday. Oops, not next Monday. I hope you guys subscribe. Oh, don't forget to like. And if you guys like my opinion, don't forget to like. And I already asked that. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.